Top notch infant. What can I say? I raise great infants, at least when I have the time. I'm Kelsey and welcome back to another colorful season of the not so berry challenge green generation We are in a new era and I am so excited to get started with all of you guys If you're brand new to the channel, welcome I'm so glad that you're here Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell So you're notified every time new videos goes live on Wednesdays and Saturdays My dream is to hit 900,000 subscribers by the end of this year if you are a returning viewer, you might remember that we haven't fully finished the peach generation of the challenge. We still have about three promotions to left to go, but everything else has been covered. So I thought right now it'd be a good transition point to get to know our green gen, start working on all of the prep for her later adult skills and have a bit of fun. Speaking of rules, let's go over all of the rules for the green generation. Generation nine, green. Hard to believe we're already at generation nine. You were caught hacking by a major tech company that then offered you a position in their firm. You know Penelope Garcia from Criminal Minds? That's you. You're dedicated to your work, but that doesn't stop you from going out and having a good time. You're the kind of person that will be at a party till 3 a.m. and then work at 6 a.m. The traits are squeamish, geek, and cheerful. The aspiration is computer whiz, and the career is tech guru. The rules for this generation are we must master the mixology, video gaming, and programming skills. We must master the tech guru career and complete the computer whiz aspiration. We must accept every invitation to parties slash outings with our friends. And we have to have at least five good friends and five enemies. It's our pen ultimate generation. I can't believe that we're already here, but I did start this series when I started full time on this channel. So it's kind of a bittersweet, but also really exciting to make room for new adventures on the channel. But we're not finished yet. We still have one more generation after this one and plenty still awaits us during these last two seasons. Let's go hop in and be reacquainted with the Green Gems family. So we are back in Green Gems gorgeous home in on the ocean. This is our main character, Ivy. She is a new child, just kind of aged up from her toddler years. And she is ready for grade school. This is her dad, Amber, who was our last generation. She's the one who was a cop by day, but a bit of a comedian in her free time. And then we, of course, have Teddy, our beloved husband and companion. And last but not least, the youngest member of the family, Aspen, who's been left for some reason in his bedroom on the floor. Classic Sims. We also have here a very tired brother, August Berry, that's uh, Ivy's uncle, and the chief of police, Elaine Keller, who is co-workers with Amber, but just kind of a friend of the family as well. And last but not least is Peach Berry. Peach, our beloved dog, who honestly couldn't hurt a fly, also offers protection. So we just finished up with Ivy's birthday, but it is now technically New Year's Eve. She hasn't done her homework yet, but she doesn't have class until Monday, so we've got a bit of time. But it is time for some New Year's Eve, and what is New Year's Eve without some New Year's resolution? So, you know, way to start off your childhood, little Ives, by making a resolution. What does she want to do in this new year, in this new era? And I think that she wants probably raise a skill that's kind of going to be her thing is getting into gaming. For mom, hers is obviously to get promoted. And Teddy's, I'm gonna say, is also to raise a skill. And then of course, Aspen, sweet baby angel. I always forget about him because he's literally the chillest baby of all time. So let's pick him up and like bring him downstairs with the family here. And Ivy is a little bit tired, but why don't you play a multiplayer game with your uncle and his girlfriend? Yeah, Macy. And you know what? Since it is her birthday, we might want to upgrade a little bit and make a little chess area for Ivy to enjoy some rounds of chess since that's part of her aspiration. And there she goes. Now she can play chess outside with her parents and friends for her requirements. All right, here we go, August. It's you v me. Oh, and Ivy's reached level two of the motor skill, which means I think she's completed her resolution. That happens so quick. And dad's eating a little bit of food while watching. 
watching. So sweet. And mom, why don't you go grab Aspen and take him downstairs so he can join in the fun? Ooh, how you doing, Ives? This is her first introduction into gaming on a console. Before that, she had her little Wabbit tablet, did kids games. This is the next level, baby. We're having family time, enjoying our New Year's Eve early. Oh, she likes video gaming. That's perfect. Wow. I couldn't have planned that better myself. As I mentioned in the last episode, if you missed it, Ivy is well, intended to be a hacker, but I think that what would be really fun, kind of similar to the Criminal Minds character, is have her be not your what you'd expect as a hacker. You know, our Ivy loves Animal Crossing and fluffy bears and stuffed animals and cute stuff. She's more of like a cozy, maybe kawaii gamer, which will be so cute. I think when she gets a little older, she'll start like kind of, especially in the teenager years, I could see her like rocking a more kawaii look. I can see her having a lot of different phases throughout her life because her mom was lazy, so she didn't really go for like a specific style. But I definitely could see Ivy really playing with color and different shades of green and different vibes um, to find herself. There's something really cute about like a hardcore programmer who just absolutely loves Stardew Valley. I just find that so endearing. I really like the juxtaposition. One of us kind of girl, loves the Sims, that kind of vibe. Another thing that would be her fave is to hang out with her baby brother. Oh my goodness, look, she's watching. And she wants to talk with Aspen and play peekaboo with him. How flipping cute is this? Oh, it's so sweet. I want her to like introduce Aspen to her brother, but it seems like her brother might have left. Maybe he had some other plans for New Year's. Either way, it's all good. Ivy, why don't you interact with your mom? Maybe throw some confetti, sing about New Year's Eve. Just give her some good vibes here. There she goes. She's celebrating as the sun sets, singing stuff. And look at Amber just cuddling Aspen, watching everything. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. You should celebrate with your dad too. Why don't you take a little nap so you can stay up late and watch the countdown, girl? And dad's also a little bit tired, but he's going to sing about New Year's Eve to mom. Maybe have a little New Year's Eve toast with her. He also would wants to hug someone. So I think that'd be really cute for them to have a nice little hug. Maisie Grove. Graybell. How cute is he? He's really getting into holidays. I feel like Amber doesn't because she's lazy. Oh, he just embraced his wife. So cute. And he celebrated the party spirit. Oh, Amber's putting our sweet baby angel to bed. She might use the toilet. And then it's time to kind of watch the New Year's Eve television. It's nine. So we've got a couple hours left before the countdown. Oh, and look who's up. It's Ivy. She's ready to watch the New Year's show. Had her little nap is feeling refreshed. Oh my God, Aspen just had his first blowout. No, Aspen. Oh my goodness. Let's wake him up and clean it up really fast. Let's go feed Aspen. Take care of him. He's really hungry. And Teddy's like exhausted. Why don't you take like a little nap outside? Oh my God, he peed on her. So gross. I just barely caught that. Pee on caregiver milestone unlock. Oh my God, the countdown just happened. We missed it. It was downstairs, but Ivy caught it. That's good because she loves that part. I mean, Amber loves it too, so she'll probably be a little bit bummed. But and Teddy's like too tired. But Ivy just was going to hug her uncle August. I almost missed that because there's just too many Sims going on here. But we, Uncle August came back to say Happy New Year, which is very sweet. And Ivy's kind of tired, so maybe she She'll come brush her teeth and then go to bed. It's bedtime for Aspen. Perfect. Oh, and thank you for putting that on the sink, my brother. That's very nice of you. Oh, he's come hanging out with us. They're just laughing. Joke about facial hair. She's just teasing him. Ivy has taken herself to sleep. It is now Sunday, which she has one more day before school. Oh my gosh, our New Year's Eve was successful. Okay, let's tell our brother goodbye. Oh, our brother just headed out. He's like, I'm honestly just tired. I'm gonna leave. So we're gonna go up Upstairs, we're gonna sleep, and that'll be everybody in bed. Three hours later. Oh, and it's spring. Okay, Ivy is up first. She needs to use the toilet. She's gonna feed Peach, and then she's gonna have some cereal for herself. Ivy's like, "Ooh, I'm such a big girl now. I'm gonna take care of all my needs by myself." I love this like elephant. I totally picture it being like a character from one of her games that she loves. What a responsible young lady cleaning up after things. Gonna go mop up the floor outside. There was like a spill for 
some reason. Mom's having leftover pizza for breakfast, which honestly is delicious. I love leftover pizza. Look at these two having a nice sit and they can even chat a little bit over breakfast. Talk about school. Maybe she's really excited to go to school for the first time. What does she like to do? They just like kind of like relax outside. It is kind of dark this morning, but it is still warm. Ivy's chatting with dad, which is really cute. Ooh, she got in a fight with someone at school. Maybe she was in the chat rooms, like chatting with people in her class before she started school. And she was like, we got a fight about which void critter was most powerful. I said it was the Articorn. See, she's already to Pokemon. Her father just always backing her would say Articorn. Absolutely. We're gonna send Teddy alone. Bye, Teddy. Have fun at work today. Make good choices. Okay, sweet angel girl. Why don't you kind of enjoy playing some Sims maybe on your computer? It looks like Aspen's doing something for the first time. What is he doing? He laughed for the first time. Oh, sweet Aspen. And then I feel like she should go maybe do a little play with Ivy here. I think Ivy and her could play some chess this morning. That might be fun. Hopefully it helps with mom's fun. And if not, she'll just go watch some TV. We're getting that logic skill up, getting that whiz kid game of chess out of the way. Okay, did we do our first game? We did, who won? I think Amber must have won. Yeah, she she was the won the chess match. Well, you did play against a literal child who was just a toddler like yesterday, so. All right, we're doing a rematch against mom. I like that Peach is inside the room and just kind of watching them from the window. It's so cute. It's such a Peach thing to do. Did she lose that time? Ooh, it looks like our daughter on her second chess match figured out how it was done. So that's awesome. But I think you should do your homework now since you're in such a confident mood. I love how under her skills now, we can like develop adult skills too. So like her logic and video gaming are getting like higher, but they're not moving as quickly as her fundamentals. I think that's really smart. Oh, mom's here. Can you help with homework? That'll be so cute. She's helping her daughter with homework. And Ivy finished up there. What should we do? Should we invite over maybe Uncle August to hang out? Maybe he's free. He could play her in a chess match. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll play a chess match with Uncle August. There he is. Uncle August sat down. He's like, okay, I'll play chess with you. Little squirt. Let's go. Bring it on. I hear you're a formidable opponent. She's definitely watched Queen's Gambit and then was like, I could do that. <laughs> She's definitely like work hard, play hard kind of girl, which I love. Girl after my own heart, to be honest. Yes, we played our three games of chess. That's perfect. Good job, queen. Ivy is gonna go grab her little pizza. She had a really great day playing chess with her relatives, so that was fun. Luckily, we've got sweet baby angel Ivy here with August. She's just chatting with him about her favorite toys. Tell him an unbelievable story while she's filling up the dog bowl. She feels like she feels so responsible helping out around the house being such a good big sister. She's making him laugh. It's like, come on, let's play games again. Oh, and Teddy's home. Good job, Teddy. Maybe Teddy can uh, join this game of party frenzy after he gets a piece of pizza. He's joining up in the game. He's like, all right, give me a controller. I'm in. And Amber's just chilling. Amber, why don't you go relax outside? But then once they're done, she should watch her TV show that she likes. She needs some fun. It's kind of low. So she's going to watch a cooking show for ideas. Oh, he reached his resolution from playing games with his daughter, he got better at it. That's so cute. And now at 7.45, she's like, I am exhausted, I'm going to bed. All right, good night, Ivy. Look at these two, having a good time. She's learning even more about her cooking, which she loves. And it's time for Amber to go to sleep, but she's in a great mood for work tomorrow. So I think we will very likely get the promotion that I so see. Dad is taking care of our beautiful son. Oh, he's even changing the diaper. What a hero. 4 a.m., up with the kid, so sweet. Sweet. Aspen learned how to creep using his little arms. He held his weight on all fours. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be crawling sometime soon. Teddy, in a rare situation, actually sitting at the dining room table, unlike all the rest of my Sims. Oh, there he goes. He's up now. And Aspen just fallen asleep again. When's he have work? In three days. So he has worked off today. We'll just be kind of chilling, I guess, with Teddy. And Ivy's gonna be at school, but we'll have a father daughter day after. I guess it'll be Teddy and Aspen today. Ivy, it's your first day of school. How are you feeling? Oh my goodness, first day of school jitters. I think she goes in in like an hour. Amber and Aspen.
husband just became good friends. That's great. Perfect. She's getting that hygiene. She's going to grade school. Oh my goodness. Good luck, sweetie. Have such a good day. Make friends. She's going to have five friends and five enemies. My thought process is to like kind of have at least one during each phase of life. So a grade school bestie, and then she'd have like a high school bestie and enemy. She'd have like a college or whatever college age, young adult besties and enemies and like adults besties and enemies. I think that might just be cute. Oh God. Everything's breaking, but these two are having a nice conversation. Why don't you grab like a really quick snack? Oh, they're so cute. Look at them flirting it up together. She's getting all her needs absolutely perfect before we go send her into work. All right, girl, going to work. Don't be late. We love you. Please, 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 please get promoted. Let's work hard. Tomorrow, I'm pretty sure Aspen ages up. If that's right. Yep. Tomorrow's Aspen's birthday. And then the next day is Teddy's birthday, actually, which is exciting. I bet Teddy would actually train Peach a little bit when he's bored. So let's try to train Peach to sit, get the basics. I've met Kenya while at school and Kenny's wearing green. Okay. Bestie material right here. Peach learned how to sit. Good job, Peach. Amber needs a new challenge at work. How does she ask the boss? She's going to present suggestions. She's like laid back. Oh, she got a medium performance gang. And Ivy also met Jared while at school. That's perfect, Ivy. Okay, let's like listen to teacher now for the rest of the day. Amber, just need you to get the promotion, queen. You're really close. Oh my gosh, he's set up. He's set up. Good job, Aspen. He's such a big boy. Oh my gosh, look at him scooting. That was impressive. Ivy's done with school for the day. She's doing satisfactory work and she got a school project. Good job, Ivy. How's mom doing at work today? Still just excellent. Okay. Well then in that case, I'm just gonna have her work normally. Feels like she's kind of stuck for some reason. Oh, Ivy's really happy. Why don't we just do our homework right now? And then maybe you can invite over a friend to hang out. That could be kind of fun, right? Make a first time bestie. Oh my gosh. And she came home with artwork. Obviously we need to display it. Look at that. It looks almost like a detective with the hat and stuff. That's perfect. I love where it's hung up. Teddy is feeling gloomy. He feels like he hasn't hung out with some of his friends in a minute. Buddy, why don't you help her with her homework? You can you can hang out with Ivy. She'll cheer you up. Ivy will help cheer you up. Good job, Ivy. Did all of her homework. Maybe we can invite over your new friend, Kenya. Ooh, you have Maurizia too. Let's invite Kenya over. Kenya's gonna be right over. Amber's home. She's a little bit embarrassed. Oh, she did something at work and it made her embarrassed. Yay, Kenya's here. Let's like invite her in. And then the two of you, can become like a little group and then you guys can actually play over here at this playground. You can go play pirate together across the street. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, now she's saying hi. Oh wow, they really vibed right there. They really felt like one person. I love that they're both wearing green. This makes me very happy. I'm gonna go play pirate. So maybe this is the first time she's like, you know what? I think the bad guy is the fun guy. She gets kind of into that. Amber, just really, you know, relaxing. Maybe she'll calm herself down. We're just making sure she has her good times. We're like, go. Oh no, land ho! Kenya, hurry! Talk about your sibling. Be like, Aspen just did the funniest thing. Oh, she's a child of the ocean. That's perfect. I live on the ocean. Kenya, we're gonna get along just fine. And she's social skill level four now. Amber's going inside. She's gonna enjoy her TV shows now. Kind of just forget about work. You can even vent to your husband if you want. Oh, attempt to seduce Baba. Ivy likes nature enthusiasts because her friend is one. That's so cute. She's like, I. I didn't know that you were a nature enthusiast. Like now I really like that. Okay, girlies, why don't you two? Mom's gonna order maybe a pizza for both of you. We'll do cheese because they're kids. Come home, girls. It's getting dark. You guys can play games together if you want. Oh, and our pizza's here. Go take the pizza, Amber. Hurry, hurry. Go pick up the pizza for the girls. Oh, don't put it outside. Put the pizza inside. Let's call everybody to the meal. Be like, everyone, I know you're playing games, but the pizza's here. It's hot and fresh. She's like, in a minute, mom. We're almost done with the game. What a fun-filled family night. I love it. Who is this? Fatia. I don't know you. Abs, why are you in my home? Get out of my home, Fatia. I already told you to leave. Ooh, did you win? Oh, first loser. Ivy didn't come in last. Teddy also didn't come in last. One of you had to. I bet they're arguing about it. They're like, nah. -uh. Why don't you two girls take slices of pizza together, all right? Have a slice, everybody. And then Kenya might have to go home. Ooh, Uncle August is here. Uncle August, come on inside. Ivy, why don't you go use Use the toilet here. Just cleaning up all the plates for everybody. What a good girl. Oh no, someone needs food and everything. Dad, come do this, please. Let's feed him and give him a bubble bath. You did your homework, so let's have you go to bed. And tomorrow in the morning, you can take a shower. But that was good. What a good day. 
Aspen's getting fed and everything. Amber's gonna go hang out with her brother. I'm really excited to see Aspen as a toddler. I think he's gonna be a cutie. All right, we're putting Aspen to bed. Good night, Aspen. And we're going off to sleep. He doesn't have work today either, and it's Aspen's birthday. So maybe we'll age up Aspen, have like a little birthday party after mom comes home from work where she gets her a promotion. I know she's gonna get it today. It's only a matter of time. Aspen is hungry. Dad, it's all you. Why don't you come give Aspen some food? Amber's gonna go get some pizza for breakfast and then watch her show. A girl of habit, honestly same. Ivy starts school in an hour. All right, Ivy, wake up. We don't want you to be stinky at school here. Let's go take a shower because you're gonna have to hang out with your new friends. We could also make some enemies at school. Maybe Ivy really does get in a fight about void critters. That would be kind of cute. Ivy's going off to school. Bye, Ivy. Have fun. Make some enemies. I mean, some friends. Come on. I would never. <laughs> Ivy learned the mischief skill. I wonder where she learned that from. <laughs> Come on, Aspen. You can crawl. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Oh, Aspen and Teddy just became good friends. Cute. All right, girl, go to work. Don't miss it for this TV show, okay? Ooh, Peach is learning to bark. And Aspen's playing in his sister's room and playing with his sister's toys, which is very cute. Very much younger brother energy, and I'm here for it. Actually, speaking of it's his birthday, we should actually upgrade Aspen's bed to the toddler bed while we have some time. Ooh, Ivy started a food fight in the cafeteria. Was it over void critters? He's gonna be like, she should help clean. We're gonna try to make her a little bit more responsible, but she is feeling kind of uncomfortable. Ooh. Side project. Yes, girl. Oh, I think that might have been it. That complete a side project. Yes, got us there. Let's go, girl. Okay, now all you gotta do, just work normal. Don't touch it, okay? Teddy has converted the bed. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, use the bathroom really, really quick, and then you need to take care of this toddler. This is a very stinky toddler situation right now. Gotta fix that. Well, future toddler. He's now an infant. You should introduce Aspen to August. That'd be so cute. Well, I think it's time. Oh my gosh, here we go. Look at these two! Boys time with a third boy! Aspen has his first oh. visitor unlocked. Okay, now that we're introducing Aspen, Aspen can just hang out with August. Ooh, Ivy's gonna invite over classmate Jared. Wait, Ivy, did you not make any enemies today? I asked you to. No, she didn't make any enemies. Girl, a gosh darn shame. Why don't you get some leftovers? That's okay. No one fought with her today, but next time. Oh, so sweet. We're getting some yummy, yummy food food and then I need a bedtime. Okay, our friend's here. Go say hi. Wow, she's so popular. She's already making two friends. Ivy, why don't you and your friend go play on the swing? Amber got her promotion. Let's go. Yes, she got promoted to captain. I'm thrilled. She received a lot of bonuses. And next up is detective. We do have to go into work with her probably tomorrow to solve her next case, but she's doing great. She's on fire. Let's go, girl. Oh my goodness. I love to see it. Oh, she's got a mental fog from burnout. I've been taking such good care of you. That is such bold. I don't even know what to say about that, but that's fine. They're swinging together. Why don't you swim in the ocean together? You guys can chat. Oh my gosh, this kid just seems so sad. Try to cheer him up. It's okay, dude. Look, we're in the ocean. We're swimming. Oh, he's had a death in the family. That's why. They're having a good time. Amber's relaxing. It's putting down that mental fog, which is good. Maybe after her relaxation, she'll go and have a nice little bath. I know that's been helping. She fell asleep while she was relaxing, which is the most Amber thing I can think of. Let's have her quickly cook the cake for our son and age him up, and then she can watch her a TV show or like take her bath or whatever. Blue confetti, that's perfect. Ivy's having a lot of fun. She's swimming in because she likes an extra slice of pizza. There we go. We got a cake for you, Aspen. Let's put on some birthday candles and then we can age up Aspen once he's kind of getting a bit of a nap. Did we cheer up Jared? Oh, he's feeling playful now. We did cheer him up. I kind of wish I was over here, but there's too many things going on. Why don't you guys go sit together? Penny, why don't you stay down here? Help blow out candles, Aspen. Yay, happy birthday, Aspen. Husband. Just a little small family thing with Ivy's new
new little friend here. Happy birthday! Dad's breaking out the noisemakers, and Ivy's got the horn. Ooh, he's aged up, and he is inquisitive. Ooh, and he earned a bonus trait: top-notch infant. What can I say? I raise great infants, at least when I have the time. Look at him! He's walking up. He's got this like long red hair, which is interesting. Who is here? It's this woman again. But Tia, who are you? You are a stranger to my home. Why do you keep coming here? What secrets do you hide, Fatima? Get away from me and my family. Speaking of my family, it's time to uh, give a makeover. Not for you, Fatima. Never. Who is she? What is her deal? I'm not super into this hair, so let's see. Oh what other options there are. I do like the idea he's like a little island boy and has kind of like a long hair situation. Oh, I do love this shirt. Oh, what if he's super into dinosaurs? He's on the beach, so maybe we'll just do like a little green dinosaur look since he is in, in a green room. Bedtime. This kind of looks like a dinosaur, so let's do that. We'll do this little jacket for like a formal kind of situation. And then for the beach, I think that he's really pale, so we might put him in a little full body suit. For hot weather, I'm thinking just Still the dinosaur shirt. And cold weather, fabulous. Okay, and then for Ivy, I've kind of been thinking maybe we should give her a bit of a makeover too, or at least an additional outfit. Just because like, I feel like she's been at school for a minute and I also want to update her hair. I think like a pigtail kind of situation would really suit her, especially with like kind of going into that kawaii girl look. Pigtails early will be really cute. Oh, this one. Wait, I love with the little frogs or alligators. That is so cute. She's absolutely crushing it. Perfect, I love it. Yay, new outfit. I also see her like going more maximalist almost in her style too. Just like having a lot going on, most of it. All right, our sweet baby angel and her pigtails, having a piece of pizza, celebrating baby Aspen. Oh, baby Aspen needs to be put to bed. He is tired. So let's get a night night from Amber. And then Amber, you can enjoy more of your pizza. And I think it's time to tell your friend Jared that it's time to go home. It's 10 o'clock, so it's kind of her bedtime. But before bedtime, maybe we could actually have a story time with dad that would work on her skills. Come on, dad. Ivy, come downstairs and listen to dad's story. Oh, and Peach is next to him while sleeping. He's like, once upon a time, there was a smart and capable little girl who could do absolutely whatever she wanted. Her mom and dad very much loved her. She was very creative and smart and loved video games and made lots of friends. The end. What are you doing, dude? That's it. Don't put that away. Read it again. You have not even read for one hour. This is trash. Can we just get the one hour, please? There it is. Okay. One hour done. Now they're both exhausted, which is not exactly what I had in mind, but whatever. We woke up early with Amber so we can enjoy a good morning, relaxing outside. Yes. Stop being dazed. What other things can help with her burnout? Oh, meditation, I think helps. Maybe that's where she picks it up from her mom? No, her grandmother. No, her mom. Oh my gosh, it feels like ages ago. Let's meditate downstairs. Yeah, now it's going down three hours. Perfect. Ivy starts school in an hour. Ivy, get up. You need to get ready for school. Go downstairs and use the toilet. Cake for breakfast, an interesting choice, but we love it. Yeah, now we're down to minutes and she's got an hour before work. This is perfect. Did you do your homework yesterday, sweetie? Oh, she's got to go to school now. Go to school, sweetie. You're late. You're like 18 minutes late to school. She's like, I got to clean up before I go to school. Did you even do your homework? No, she didn't do her homework today. It was her brother birthday. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Make enemies. Oh, Teddy's neat. Yes, he is. No one is surprised. Amber needs to go to work. All right. We're going to, we're going to join her at work today. We need to do one more case. We're at level eight. So we just need nine and 10. We have two more. We are back here on the case. Teddy's also at work. We can use this older computer to cross reference the police database. The suspect is wearing a short sleeve shirt, but that's all we got. Suspect is mean. Okay. There is an APB available. We're literally just looking for a mean person in a short sleeve shirt, but we didn't even travel to the crime scene. So let's travel to the crime scene really quick, get some more clues so we can put them on our board and make sure our APB is ready to go. We're in a neighborhood. Ooh, someone broke and entered into the home. We need to get a report from the witness. Are you guys witnesses? Just for some fingerprints, collect some evidence. She got a fingerprint. All right, let's return to the police station. I think I've seen all I need to see here. They broke a TV. They broke into your home. Seems like there's a lot of items missing, unless you just don't have a lot of stuff. I don't know. A bunch of boys lived there, so who knows? 
Hardened cop Amber is on the case. We are going to be analyzing some evidence. We're gonna go analyze those fingerprints, see if we can figure out anything good. And here she goes. Analysis success. How am I not surprised? Excuse me, sir. I was about to use that computer. I'm gonna kick you off that computer as soon as I add a clue to my crime board. You're getting off, okay? Ooh, what was the clue that we got? Clue was the suspect is male, mean, and wearing a short sleeve shirt. Honestly, we can get it from there. Let's add the clue to the board. We took the witness statement. We crossed referenced it on the computer. The suspect is a young adult. All right, let's just issue that APB. Let's get out there in the streets. I think we know who our suspect is. A perp has been spotted in the area at the gym. Oh my gosh, and Kylo Ren's here again and she wants to chat with him. And look, Veta is always here. Let's do like a cheerful introduction. Veta's just been in the wrong place at the wrong time, like multiple times. So I'm just very interested. I mean, Kylo Ren is also mean and he is a villain. So it's very very likely, you know, but he doesn't have a short sleeve shirt. He is self-absorbed, art lover, erratic. Okay, so he's not me. Let's go for Tsubasa Endo. He looks like a Targaryen with that white, white hair. They just became good friends. Whoa, that was fast. I don't know if you're mean. Are you mean? He is mean. Oh, buddy. Okay, he's a young adult, he's male, he's mean, and he's wearing a short sleeve shirt. Yeah, come with me, Tsubasa, even though they're really good compatibility and now best friends. Why does she make besties with like everyone she arrests? I don't know. She's just so likable. You know, she can't help it. We need to take his report. Where is our suspect? He ran from us all the way to a different country, but you are coming with me. I know it's you for a fact. You're coming with me back to the station. Even, wait, he's traveling with these two. These two were at the last location too. I caught him dancing. Yeah, this is your last dance, buddy. Okay, those fancy feet are getting out of this one. You better stick around. There he is, okay. He's here, he's here, let's interrogate him. Oh my gosh, finally. Yeah, there you are, Tsubasa. You thought you could run, but you couldn't. Amber's too good at her job. Oh my gosh, why did the robot die again? I heard the robot dying noise. There she is. Hera, it's okay, girl. Oh my gosh, she's always getting wet. It's not even raining, girl. I have your fingerprints, Subasa. You can't hide. This is you. You were at the scene of the crime. I saw your fingerprint on the Smash TV. I'm gonna show a witness statement. A witness claims person that looked just like you, who was mean, was there. And I met you. And you are mean. <laughs> Imagine that being used as evidence. We're gonna be a bad cop. Dangle some handcuffs. That's one of my favorite ones. Show them this new jewelry you're gonna be wearing here. We're gonna reveal your calling card. We know it was you. You've done some other stuff, haven't you? Looks like this isn't your first rodeo breaking and entering. You worried? I bet you are. He's guilty! Let's put this boy away. But first, we're gonna get uh, advice on our social bunny post. No, I'm kidding. Get the confession. But also, what should I post on social bunny? Are you I feel like I should put like a cute selfie, but our selfie's out? I don't know. That's what she just asked. <laughs> but to case closed. And we solved our fifth case. Let's go, girl. Boom, no, 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 no. Let's do a funny introduction because she's so funny. I feel like we gotta get to know this robot. I've seen this robot at the precinct every time I've been here. Hey, Hera, I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. See, look, they're besties already. Amber is so funny. Tell a joke about barnacles. Era finds this hilarious. Era's like, I need a uh, sleep. And she's like, okay, bye, you crazy girl. Bye, you crazy. You're crazy. Let's talk to Jet. Discuss some case theory with Jet. We haven't reconnected with him. I feel like it'll all be water under the bridge, right? Hopefully. Just again, joke a bit about old times. And he was like, those are some great times. Oh, I saw on the beat. She's gonna have a deep conversation. Maybe tell him all about her family. Oh, nice. Oh, he's romantic. She just learned that. Yep. I don't know why that got brought up in conversation, but the end of our shift is here and we made money. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we finished our fifth case, which means that we have enough for our next promotion so I won't have to go into work with her. It also means that today is Teddy's birthday. He's gonna become a full adult. We might as well make him a little cake. Maybe he's into coconut cake. That sounds kind of good. It's very tropical. How are you doing, Ives? Ives is playing. Good for you, Ivy. Why don't you do your homework for school? Did you make any enemies at school yesterday? She made no enemies. Dang it. Maybe she just won't make enemies that much as a child. Maybe it's high school. We still have a chance in high school. Wow, someone's arrived at our house, wants to give us a gift because we're such a 
such a good neighbor. It's Oscar Barry. Oh my gosh. I forgot that we have a relative named Oscar Barry. Come on in, Oscar. Long time no see. But we have our new cake for our husband. To age him up, he's going to be a full adult. It's kind of crazy to me they're still just young adults. We're going to invite him in. We're going to have the birthday candles. And then we're going to have everybody come over here. Aspen, you go to sleep. You're kind of looking tired. Let's blow up candles. Happy birthday, Teddy. Your wife came home from work after a long day to make you a beautiful cake surrounded by your beautiful family and your beautiful home. Happy birthday! And Teddy aged up adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and the midlife crisis he's away. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Look at our older man aging up, looking just as gorgeous as before. We might give him a bit of a makeover now that he's a little older, kind of give him more of like a daddy energy or a, a dad energy. <laughs> Oops. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know in the comments below, what are you wanting to see out of the green generation? What are you excited for? Give me all of your thoughts. Also, if you wanna make a sim that might become a friend or enemy of Ivy's in high school, please, please, please upload them to the gallery using hashtag Kelsey not so Barry, and I'll check them out in a future episode. Until next time, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!